Hi, Hi Floss Tube. Tube. We're the cross stitching cousins. I'm, I'm Con Kelsey. I'm Constant. <laughs> <laughs> this is Floss Tube number two. So we first wanted to start out by saying thank you so much for all the fun love that we got on our first video. That was like so shocking. I was fully not expecting that warm welcome that we got. So we really appreciate that. Um, and that made us want to start a new video. And so thank you. Um, in our last video, we needed to correct ourselves. I so, said fabric center and it's craft center. Where you got your home cross stitch. Yes. Uh, I said it twice. Framed. Yeah. And that's in Salt Lake City. And then, um, the free pattern that I stitched with, um, the little sheep coming out of the hat. That's from the pink, pink, pinkin pumpkin quilting on Instagram. And she gives a lot of free um, cross-stitching patterns. So go check her out. It's like amazing. And she does like really fun holiday ones and like salt box houses. And yeah, so go check her out. She's like so sweet to give out all these fun little patterns. So uh, for shout outs, I've been, I found two really cute fosterers that I really like this week. Um, of Evelyn across the pond and it's like Evelyn AX across the pond um, she is so cute she's from United Kingdom and she's getting her PhD in like history and she does this fun section in the beginning of her videos where she talks about like antiques and stuff and so if you need somebody new to watch go watch her she's very sweet and then Elizabeth Ann can stitch has the cutest personality and I really learned a lot from her videos and um so you get to check her out she has like all sorts of different kinds of patterns that she stitches and she totally will enable you so if you're looking for to be enabled go watch her um what's next previous finishes okay I think so I oh mine. yeah I was gonna bring mine last week and I forgot so this is April wordplay and I changed all the colors to more of a bright springy time and I also changed it said pussy willow and I changed it to bunny willow just because I kind of liked that wording better so I did that and then this fabric is just like a blue polka dotted and it's just from Walmart um so that was that and then this is something I stitched last year. It's the um, Easter wreath by Tiny Modernist. And then I got it framed at Hobby Lobby. And this is just an eight by eight frame at Hobby Lobby. So those, oh, and then from last time I finished this, I glued it on and then I went to defont.com and this is called the skinny or the skinny that's the font of this and I just cut it out on my Cricut and stuck it on there that's cute thank you and then this one you guys saw last week or last time I just added these gold coins from wood connection you guys know we love that store we do lots of fun things from that store <laughs> <laughs> and so I just thought that I added a lot so those are those. What's next? Um, did you want to show these? Or do you want to... Oh, those are finishes this week. Okay, so then we can just go on to whips and then do our finishes. Yes, I'll be right back. Okay, I will start with. I only have one whip. Um, I added more to my just my type. Let's see, I added, I finished this pink one, this red heart, and started the typewriter. I did accidentally add an extra row somewhere over here, and I didn't want to take the time to unpick it. So I just left it. I still think it's cute and adds my personality. And the heart doesn't look bad. It looks the same. I didn't even notice until I was trying to get this typewriter to line up. That, like, totally adds, like, it just, you can't tell. And I add, accidentally added onto this post, and I left it. So that's, I guess it's that's just what little... makes it yours. Right? Yes. Gives a personality. 
something I learned from uh, Missouri Star um, on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Have you ever watched them? Huh. They, me and my mom will watch them together sometimes. And the owner on there, she says, if something bothers you more than three times, fix it. And if you can't see it from far away, then that's not a problem. It didn't bother me at all. So <laughs> that was what I, I love her. But yeah, don't quote me on that. That's from her. Um, so my whips. Yes. So some of my whips were also finishes. So I did start this. This is the Quaker flag by the Stitcher Hood. And I am stitching it on a natural light from Woodchill on 14 count. And I changed the colors. Um, the red is 347. That's Lori Holt's favorite red. And so I changed it to that. And then I can tell you what that blue is. If you are curious, let me just figure that out where it is. You can move on if you want. Um, I just have my finishes. Oh, 931 is the blue and it's all DMC. So, perfect. Okay. So finishes, do you want to go first? Sure. Let's see. So I finished my lucky from last time that I, that's so cute. Thank you. Um, I got the idea from her, I kind of stole it, but I love <laughs> Where did them. you get the board and the fabric? Um, so the board and the fabric was from Joann's. I just took this and painted it white and then just took a piece of a uh, fat quarter and glued it on. And I, I use chipboard and sticky spray. And under this, I just, I use felt as well. It's so much easier for me. And so I put felt under this one and not under this one. So it kind of gives it more of a pop. And then I finished this lucky charm. And I will tell you what, it's that a pain in the butt. so cute. Thank you. I got this board from Joann's around St. Patrick's Day. And I had to put a piece of the, I'll show you the back, the chipboard so that I could mount oh. this cross stitch to something. And then I cut this out and put felt behind it. And I will tell you that this frame is very fragile. These little pieces fall off. So you can see that I'm missing a few at the top. Oh, I didn't even notice. But I didn't care because I really wanted this. I have a pillow that has the same wreath and I wanted it to all kind of flow. So that was that. That is so cute. I Thank love you. it. I don't know if I'll ever do a circle again. I'll tell you what, those are rough. I've never tried a circle. <laughs> And then this one was my Conversation Hearts. Same thing. I got the frame at Michael's and I painted it with gray and then sanded it and then painted white on the inside and sanded that. And then this was another fat quarter I got from uh, Joann's. And same thing. Did it on chipboard. Did this one on chipboard with the felt behind it. You can kind of see I'm a little off. But it was my, one of my first three. So I feel like some practice. <laughs> Thank you. I love it. That is so cute. So that's all I have for this week. Sweet. That's a lot. Um, okay, so I am not a very good sewer, but <laughs> so I did make a little pillow. This is the February months. Yeah, it's by Lizzie Kate. It's Lizzie Kate. And then I just use fabric on the back. This fabric, I bet you bucks it's from Hobby Lobby, but I couldn't tell you for sure. But anyways, so that's that. This is stitched on fabric I just got from my LNS, which is um, the craft center in Salt Lake City. And then these are the called for DMC. And that was that. And then I also finished these carrots that we talked about last time. I can link the pattern below. Um, also with the description box if we forget something leave us a comment and I can also like add to the description box and give me a, like an hour after the video is posted and I will have what I say that is in the description box in there <laughs> I just have to find all the links but yes yeah, so this is all um, done I just got some fabric from Hobby Lobby stuffed it and mine are very simple pillows 
Now my mom is an amazing, amazing sewer. Like she's professional. Yeah. Like I don't, yeah. So she finished a few projects for me. And so I want to show them to you. This is a country cottage needleworks pattern. And she, oh my gosh, I just love how cute, like look at all the details she added to it. Like those cute little snowflakes. This is the called for DMC. And then she did this cute little patch in the back and it's just adorable. And it's like so firm, like so how firm that is. It's just like, stuff so that's really amazing. Good. It's never gonna like lose its stiffness. So, and she's just like, the, there's nothing like, no mistakes on this at all. Even if you tried to find one, you wouldn't find one. And then she made me this one. This is the um, hands-on design free pattern that she makes every year for her anniversary. This is, I'm pretty sure this one's this year's. I think so. And um, she did the same little, uh, what's it called? Like a patch. Little, little patch on the back. And, and her then, signature. Yeah, and then... And then she did that cute little blanket stitch. I know you can't really see the stitches, but I'm pretty sure that's the point. Like, she, like, did the same color to hide the stitches, but I love it. She found this cute button at Joann's. And then she, on um, this one, she um, followed, I think, the hands-on design pillow pattern, that like, tutorial. So if you're looking for something like this, Hands on design does a really good tutorial on that. One more she did for me. This one isn't completely done because she's going to get me the pin minis, but I had to show you anyways because it's so cute, isn't it? I love it. So this is the Delivering Roses by the Stitching with the Housewives. Um, my, let's see, Kimberly changed her, because I think the Housewives had it on like turquoise fabric mm -hmm. and I changed it to black just like Kimberly and she used classic color works to stitch hers and I did DMC so I just changed her classic color works to DMC and it's on 14 count as you all know that's all I stitch on and um yeah but she did an amazing job on this isn't that adorable my mom bought the like pin minis to match these cute little hearts. I'm like so spoiled. I'm so excited to That's put these out. Adorable. So those are my finishes. Oh, one other craft that I did this week. There is a pattern on YouTube who makes these cute little makeup bags. They're adorable. And it literally, I made these three things all in one nap time. So it was so super simple. And I can link the pattern below, but this is out of a placemat. And so it's like all lined and everything. Is it just one placemat? Yeah. It's just so like so simple. Her um, instructions were super easy. So if you're looking for a super simple, easy project, this is a good one. The, don't be afraid of zippers. I didn't even use a zipper foot. I just used my regular foot and it was so fun. Um, one other finish is this. I just didn't put it. I didn't find anything I wanted to put it on yet. But I did show this last week. I just finished it this week. It's cute. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, that was all my finishes. I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. No. It just keeps coming. <laughs> okay. So we talked about this pattern last week. Oh, oh. waxing moon designs. Yes. Um, Easter House Trio. And um, Little Yellow House Crafts. The Nell from Little Yellow House Crafts, she changed her colors to... Um, I, I think she used Victorian model threads, and I just changed them to DMC. And so here is my finish on that one. I only did this house. I didn't do any other house. But, and I'm going to wait and finish them all together. But I do love it. It's, what did you stitch it on? Um, right here. Oh, okay. This from Hobby Lobby. 
I like it. So, thank you. Okay. What's next? Haul. Do oh. you want to show your haul? You go first. Okay, my haul. Oh, I bought these adorable Lori Hilt tins. And that comes with the three of them. And they fit inside each other. And I just had to have They're them. They're like little nesting balls. They're so or cute. Or dolls. <laughs> I saw them on um, Java Girl. And I oh. was like, oh, I'm going to have to get those for my she own craft room. She enabled you. <laughs> she did. And then, of course, I saw this tulip bag. Mm. And I couldn't not get it for spring. I have the, um, oh, the just my type one that I love. And so I needed a spring one. So I got that. And then I got the, um, stitch, stitches from the heart thread pack, the DMC thread pack. And then I got the stitchy star DMC. Haven't bought the pattern yet. It's coming. So I'm going to do that one eventually. I just wanted to get them while I could, because I know it's hard to get the DMC. It's my Michaels is out. My whole Hobby Lobby they're sparse and same with Joann's. You're it's lucky. so frustrating. You're like, mm. but you know, it's like everybody wants cross stitch. So I guess it's okay. Yeah. As long as they're cross stitching. Yeah. <laughs> they're using it for a good reason. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. So my haul from last time, this was the one I was talking about the, with thy needle and thread, um, jelly bean jubilee. And then I did get the stitchy stars, but I didn't get the floss. <laughs> We're a little opposite. Well, well, I did order the floss. It's just not here yet. I actually think it comes today. So. Oh. And I was going to tell you, I did end up getting this board oh, from Michaels. Yes. And so I do have the board and the floss. I just need the pattern. And Wait, I have the fabric. So my Michaels closed. Will you pick it up for me? I actually picked you up. Oh, you're the best. <laughs> I have, there was two left and I was like, I don't. Think she has one if she does we'll use it for something else <laughs> thank you so much <laughs> you're welcome thanks for thinking of me okay so that was that okay and then this week's haul Ooh. uh this floss pack uh which is um the h yeah uh stitchy cards set h i'm sure i'm not the first one showing you these because they're so cute i got some fabric this is Oatmeal 14 count by Lori Holt. This is all from the Pat Carter shop. Um, so when I was stitching that pattern, the 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 um, Easter House trio, there's a little bit of my DNA on there because when my baby came, he was trying to grab my hand and I was stitching because I stitch in hand, so I do the sewing method. And he punctured, like I was, like I had my needle in and he's grabbed my hand and he fell and tripped. And so my blood is on there. I don't think you could see it. Anyways, so I was watching the Stitchy Talk by uh, the back quarter shop. And she talks about how you get like a little bit of a callus on your finger if you use Bowen needles. Oh, okay. And so I got the Pat Carson needles because that's what she recommends for a 14 count. So I bought those, and then I just got this case. It was on clearance at Hobby Lobby for 99 cents. It's adorable. And sometimes it's hard to get the needles out. So I'm sure you've seen these too. They're the magnet cords. Have you seen them? Mm -mm. Oh, they're just from Amazon. And if you just, it just oh, gets your genius. needle out for you. Because <laughs> yeah, I have nails on. I would never be able yeah. to get them there. So if you just use that, that's really sweet, huh? It's good to know. <laughs> um, so that was my haul there. I did get a few other things for Mania, but they just haven't come in the mail yet. So that'll be for next time. Um, and then I did get some floss just from like Joann's or Hobby Lobby because I was kidding up some Mania stuff and maybe a little bit of fabric. But you'll see that when we get there. Um... Did I show these? No. We I got these um for my floss pack too. So there's that. This I did get all the DMC for this too. So oh, that's, that's gonna favorite. be so fun to stitch. Okay, I think that's all my haul. 
Oh, good. Do you want to do Stitch Mania? Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be crazy. Okay. Yes, I have a lot, I think. It feels like a lot. I've never stitched this much. I've always been, like, only one pattern at a time. A very monogamous stitcher. Yes. <laughs> and she pushes me past my limits. So, here we go. Are you ready for this? <laughs> I'm ready. I'm so excited. Okay, so I am going to do... And I did a lot of kitting up this week. That's why I don't have a whole lot stitched or anything else. It takes finished. a lot of time to kit up stuff. Oh my gosh. It took like a whole day just to find the floss. Like I said, everybody was out. So, but I, luckily I had all that fabric I showed you guys, showed you guys last time. So I'm just going to use all that up because that was in my stash. And I don't, I like to use what I have before I start buying more. So I have the Raise the Roof, Sam socks and such. And so that's going to be... That's part of my stitch mania, and I'm gonna I'm gonna cross stitch that on mushroom twenty eight count Ugana. It's not what it calls for, but do you want to talk about how we're gonna do mania? Oh yeah, go ahead. So with mania, her birthday's in May, so we're gonna do every other day. We're each gonna start a new project or like you work on a working project, but so every so other gonna day split it up. we're gonna split it up. So we each have. Well, I don't have 15 projects, but I'm going to get 15 projects. So. I think I picked out 16 because there's 31 days and I have 16. Yeah. So let's see. Oh, I found, I saw this one on Lori Holt and I loved the uh, bee. Ooh, very cute. Yes. It's No Bees, No Honey by Blackbird. Is it Blackbird? Birds of a Feather. Sorry. And she just did the honey. Is that a honeycomb? Uh-huh. Okay, so she just did this, and I loved that. So I'm going to do the same, and I'm not going to put any of the alphabet, just this. And I'm doing it all in DMC. And I'm going to do it on the called for fabric. So that's my kit there. It's the uh, 32 count cream. Um, so you this... got that, are you L and S? Yes. Okay. Um, so this was the... I don't want to show this. Um, PDF from Fright Night last year and I didn't get a chance to do it because I just didn't have time so I'm going to start that one this this go round and I have uh, all the called for DMC and the 28 count haze gray even weave so I'm gonna do that um, and then I also have this one from last year the hay pumpkin I bought the whole kit and just can you like, to totally it. see why people buy kits and like my stores kit things up? Yeah. Because it's it genius. takes forever to do it. I ran to Joanne's three times in <laughs> one day just to get all the things they needed because I kept missing Especially things. when you're are trying to kit up Mania, you're like, okay, I'll just buy this kit, buy this kit, buy this kit. It would be so nice <laughs> if you could buy everything in a kit. Yeah. And, oh, so I am going, oh, shoot, I just showed that. Um, I bought this one. And I'm going to start that. I'm going to put it on... Did you buy it as a PDF? No, this is the the paper. So I put everything in the sheets, like we've, I've sh we've showed you before, so I can kit them up and keep the floss with its pattern. And I bought this pattern back in February, I think, because oh. I love... I have a thing... I like the bees. I was going to say, them. I think you have a bee problem. I <laughs> know. <laughs> and I'm going to do it on 28 Count Even Weave from Hobby Lobby. Because I I like all the creams and the brown tones. I'm sure I'll do blue eventually, but I'm just more of a cream white. Do you have and to brown. like change any of the colors or no. everything? I I think everything will look good because oh, those yeah. are more golden. Yeah. And so I should probably put them in this. That'll be very cute. See. Okay, and then my next one is. Oh my gosh! I know. Mm. Look how cute. Oh, it's so cute. And this one, oh, I am so excited. I bought the um. I did. I should have brought it. I brought the little. Cro I bought the cross or the XO oh. from Joann's, and I painted it after this, so it's white with oh, cute. three different, four different shades of pink. So I'm gonna do that on twenty eight count white from Hobby Lobby. That's adorable. And then this one is so cute. The Valentine Valentine oh. typography. Oh my gosh! And I'm doing like I said. I'm doing all the DMC. I don't know if you can see that. And this one I'm going to do on the white as well. The white from Hobby Lobby. So a lot of them I'm just reusing. The fabric. Yeah, because I've had 
a lot of it or I've only done little projects. And then this one is ABC Halloween. I got this from my uh, craft center. My mom actually bought this for me. I stitched that one. It's so cute. Like um, two years ago, maybe? Yeah, or something. I saw it in your house, and I just had to have it. It's very cute. And I'm doing that on Vintage Country Mocha 20, 32 count. That pattern is so fun to stitch. Like, I don't know if you guys have this where you just really like to stitch letters because they go so fast. I've never stitched letters. Really? I don't. Only, like... In, like, in the pattern. Yeah. Something. I've never, like, just done the ABCs. Oh, it's so fun. Okay, and then my next one is the Pumpkins for Sale by Lori Holt. And I bought the floss pack for this, so that was easy. I bought the, um, oh. Oh, are you going to do it on the whitewash board? Yes. <gasps> That's I'm, a good idea. I saw it on somebody on Facebook, and I'm so sorry I can't give you credit. I can't remember who it was or where it came from, and I couldn't find it. So, oh. but I got this all, because I, like, to store my DMC like that. On the bottom. And if, yeah. And if I have extras, I just leave it so I can add it. So I don't have so many of the same. And so that's also what I did this last two weeks or so. But this is the 28 count washboard. So did you, this isn't your leftover from your home. You had to buy more. Yeah, I bought more because I liked the 28 count. And mm -hmm. I figured if I ever wanted to do a home for me to match my mom's, then I would want the 14 count. Yeah. So... That was my pumpkin for sale. And then I am also going to do the hands-on design, Love You. There was a free pattern. and But I did change my colors. So I'm going to do on the white sparkly with 760 for the pink and 844 for the gray. That would be cute. That one. I love that. We went to our LNS and we tried to find that pink fabric. Mm -hmm. And you and me and your mom went, <laughs> and my mom, we went, and I, I don't know where you were, but we went to go find the pink fabric and they didn't have pink. So they were like, well, why don't you do sparkly? And I'm like, better. everything's better in sparkles. I love so sparkles. So we can do that. And so with um, the ones from, from the, the pink and gray from this, I'm going to do them on this one as well. It was a free hands-on design. And I'm going to do her Be Mine. And I'm going to do all three of them with the same gray and pink. Oh, so they all kind of match. Mm -hmm. That's but a good I'm, idea. I think I'm going to do this on probably the ivory or the white. I haven't decided that yet. What about this one? Both. What? They'll either go on white or... Oh, I see. I just haven't... I'm just not a huge black stitcher. It's I very mean, scary for me. I mean, once you start, I, I you can't go back. It's just like so much fun. <laughs> That's what I but hear. I do have to use a magnifier, especially with black. So oh, for sure. And even fourteen count. So, <laughs> I mean, I yeah. Yeah, you should. We should, we need to try that light that Lori Holt came out with. Oh, the one that, that sits on the table or on your lap or something. That would be so. That'd be really good nicer. to set on black with. I think it would. That's crap. Yeah. I think it'd be great. And my last one, I'm doing the serendipity, but I did change my fabric because it was what I had on hand. So I'm just going to do it on wheat, 28 count Lagana. Mm. And I did buy the floss pack for that and I got it all kitted up. That would be really cute on there. I thought so too. It kind of brings out the cream with the darker yeah. background. Like, and I'm not a huge blue fan. Like, I just don't have blue in my house. I love it, but I just... Don't really have it, so I'm. That's why a lot of my stuff, like I said, is gonna be like beige, beige creams, ivory, some white. Yeah, that's and what makes sense. I had two more that I might do: the red, white, and blue. Um, I'm thinking about that. I just don't have the pattern for it yet, and I wanted to do um, a, one or two out of the Halloween cross stitch magazine i'm not quite sure i really love the uh, the one that java girl did with the this needle what was that needle do you know what oh it's like a i made you a baby. working copy yes 
don't know where I put, oh, right here. I just so. want you to see it. So I'm going to do this because I loved Java Girls. I didn't realize she did that. Yeah, and she did it with um, like orange and green and then the black. Oh my gosh. It was so, so cute. cute. So that's probably going to be on my. It's kind of hard to stitch out of a magazine. I don't know if you guys have found that too. So we just make our working copy out of it. So it's like, I don't have to carry around this magazine. And that way all I can the just place. take it with me. And like I've told you before, I shove all my floss in there. Because it's so much easier to just pick this up and I got It's almost like a miniature project bag it that really doesn't is. zip up. Exactly. And okay. they're so easy to replace if they rip. And if you spill, you just wipe it right off. The magazine, you spill that, you ruin like how many pages. Yeah. So that's why I love to do that. And I think, oh, I forgot. I was going to do the mm. stitches of the heart from the heart that was on there. I think that's like an extra one but I wasn't sure so I had like two or three I was going back and forth and I think this one might be on my stitch radar media. yes because it's so and I have a pillow that matches just like my lucky charm oh cute. it was like a mini one and I had several like not three of them by mm -hmm. three and it was in there and I told my mom I of course I have to do that one she bought me the pillows she spoils me <laughs> that's fun okay so my mania I don't have them very organized like she does. <laughs> I just kind of was like, what? What's that in there? <laughs> so a few years ago, I'm pretty sure I can show this pattern. Uh, I'll just kind of like flash it real quick. But it's a um, little Quaker Halloween. And it's the Aura Fill like free pattern from them. And Cheryl with the Fat Quarter Shop stitched hers. And I love it. So it's adorable. that's something I'm going to do. Um, for Mania. Um, this one. Everybody, I'm sure, has seen this. Um, May Snapshot by Pine Mountain Designs. And so I'm going to stitch that. All, all the call for GMC and I don't know what fabric. We'll figure that out when it comes. Sometimes those are the best. Is when you just kind of <laughs> throw it in there. Yeah. So this was a PDF. And it's the, it's like the alphabet from the fat quarter shop. They um, came out with an alphabet and I really like that. So I'm going to like do my last name and on um, in my haul that didn't, hasn't come yet. I bought the whitewash board like oh, you shit. showed for your home mm -hmm. and for that, for this pattern. Oh, the pumpkins for sale. Pumpkins for sale. Um, I'm going to do that, do my last name on that because that will match my house. And I'm going to do it in some sort of a gray color. And I can show that when I get there. Um, in this book, I'm going to do this one. And it says, welcome to our haunted home. Maybe. I don't know if I'm going to, but maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it's cute. I love Halloween and I love Valentine's. I'm not a huge Christmas stitcher though. Mm, I have I a holiday why. stitcher. Like, if it's the holiday or coming to that holiday, I'm like, okay, I'm going to stitch this holiday. Fourth of July. Oh, I love all the red, white, and blue, everything. Oh, it's so fun. Oh. Yeah, that so. Stitchy Stars is going to be so much fun. Um, She showed the... Oh, here. I have a big, big picture of it. Um, What is this called? Bright Night by um Fat Quarter Shop. It's so I want, I think. Um, we bought it last year and yeah, we were like doing the stitch long. I've actually started. I can show you my progress on it. And she's a go getter. <laughs> Whatever. This is the 14 count it calls for. Can oh, you see cute. that? Um, I'm not going to tell you where I messed up because if you don't know, <laughs> then I don't have to fix it, right? It's going so, in your house. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna work on that for. A two days in Mania. And I'm excited to get started to try all these new projects. Oh, I know. So. Ooh, that one's do, good. do you remember this from the Fat Quarter Shop from last fall? Mm -hmm. I'm going to do all those because I just loved it. So cute. I bought, I'm pretty sure it's the called for fabric. 
graceful gray 14 count and if you guys haven't noticed we do all, probably all the same just different order because <laughs> i love what she loves and she loves yeah. what i love and we have to have the same we have to do the same thing we have like all of our decorations usually match and i think well i bought this bought this um so you can buy these book patterns on um on your app on the app and That's so i bought is. it on the app and you bought the other didn't you buy the oh i bought the um and you bought this hard copy yes the uh i bought it to get priscilla's spring like an older spring uh cross stitch with the yeah. bunny i can show you really quick it was so you bought cute. the spring and then and then I also bought the Christmas one, the the 2019 Christmas edition on the app. So it's like kind of right. hard to show you. So that's why we showed you the same book. So we could just kind of like show you the pattern. Yes, I also like printed out mine so I could show it to you a little bit bigger. So it's kind of bigger so that way you know exactly which one I'm doing. I think I bought the 2016. I can't find it on my phone. Oh, but okay. I think that's what it was to get the Priscilla one. And then there was a cute, cute tree with like Easter eggs hanging down for like spring. But I think, I want to say it's 2016. I don't think you showed that. I didn't, I didn't show you. Let's see. You'll have to show me that. I'll just keep going. Uh, okay. So... Christmas yeah, calendar nice. by Tiny Modernist. It was a PDF that I bought. And I'm going to stitch them all individually. And then like use it as an advent calendar. Sort of how um, Cheryl did at the Fat Quarter Shop with the um, Halloween one. That's a good idea. Also, I did buy the fabric uh, for the Halloween one. So I'm in, I just need to buy that pattern. But it's by the Tiny Modernist. And she has like a Halloween countdown to Halloween. And I'm just going to stitch them individually as well. And do a little. I think my kids will like to do that as they grow up. Like put little spots. You know. Put them in their spots. Yeah. Like an advent calendar to the. Um, oh, that's cute. And I do have like a miniature start on that. I guess I could show you. It's like pretty much lame. But that's. The first one, it's a little angel. You're doing sparkly fabric again. Yeah, because everything's better in sparkles. Especially so, Christmas. Especially Christmas. Okay. <laughs> this is a mess. Nobody tells you, like, when you start floss tube, how big of a mess you have. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here is the Blackbird Design Book. Um, this is the cutest pattern in the whole world because... Yes, this one. And um, Java Girl changed her colors, but she got her color changed uh, from my this girl on Instagram. And her name is My Life with Miss Gracie. She's adorable. And she's really good at color changes. So I have a start on this one. And so I just changed my colors to the same thing there. This was the reddish cherry cobbler. Oh, that's adorable. So I'm almost done with it. I just I just need to finish it up. So I'm gonna work on this for mania. So there's that. And that Blackbird design book is seriously the cutest thing ever. Um, so these are just all like they're not in order, but they're just things that I think I might do. I made this project back. Don't look too close. <laughs> I did make it. My mom sent me to a class to make it. That's cute. And she helped me. I mean, it's it's really hard, but like you can tell like I'm not against it. Very sour, so you gotta start somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> um this is the boys are back in town. And it's a free pattern. Can you see it? It's really cute. Oh my gosh, those buttons. Yeah. So you just, it's a free pattern, but you have to buy the button pack. That is how adorable it is. And then I just bought the buns to go with it. So, 
Um, and then I just got the fabric, so I'm gonna maybe do that in Mania. And this is um, four, 14 count Workshire Gray. That's probably what I'm gonna do it on. So. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Where did that pattern go? Where did it go? Oh, your bunny? Bunny garden. There you go. Bunny garden. It glares like real bad. And then I'm going to do it on light blue. Um, 14 count Ada. Bye. Um, it's from Hobby Lobby. And I think that'll look really cute on there. Oh my goodness, that glare is just... I'll just take it out. I'll just show you. Ain't nobody got time for that glare. There you go. So I think that'll look good on there. I'm just not a dyeing my fabric kind of a person. Well, I have done it before, but I just... Didn't really love the way it turned out. So maybe I'm just being too picky. But that's in this bag. So. We have matching bags. We have matching bags. Is that all of my, of my, I'm pretty sure that's all of my, um. Stitch Mania? Mania. So we'll keep you updated on Instagram. We're going to post what we're doing that day. And then we'll, um. Yeah, it'll probably be either on our stories, or do you think we'll make a post about it? What do you think? I think we should do a post. Okay, we'll make a post every single day. So, look out for those to see what we're doing. Um, okay, so, I have to show you what my mom made us this. Uh, like, she's been working on this for a long time, because they take forever, because they are so cute. And she does an amazing job. So, they are crocheted around blankets flannel blankets she and she so we told you that our babies are two weeks apart and she was using her so my mom made her one when she was a baby and she's been using that one for her baby because they are <laughs> they've held up so well and they are the perfect size they're not too hot they're not too cold and she loves them and they still fit her so from a newborn to now and it'll probably fit her until she's at least a year and a half. Mm. But, so here's our blankets. So we we each got all, like, we each got all, oh. e one of each. So I have I a pink I and have a strawberry. Yeah. And then she has the blue and the green. We just. Mm. So let me show them up close. Because these ones are so here. one layer. So it's just. Like, there's nothing on the back. Just but you back. can see the cute crochet she did around it. Like, oh my gosh, so she put so intricate. much time and effort into these. And look how cute those peas are. <laughs> the carrots. Aren't they so They're cute? adorable. I've never seen anything so cute. It's adorable. So, And they wash up so well. And, man, we are spoiled, don't you think? Oh, yeah. So she goes to a shop called The Quilter's Attic. And it's in Bountiful, Utah. And they hem stitch stuff. I know it's hard to find a hem stitcher now, but if you're local to this area, they have a good one. And my mom gets it hem stitched, and we are so lucky. Oh, like, blue. oh, they're so yummy. My babies. This is Little Sprout. Oh, Little Sprout. And then look at this, like, fuzzy. It is so cute. Oh, it's just so the so blue sweet. and the green is the same pattern just different colors and so she did the same stitching on both mm -hmm. just colors to match and then today we got these cute ones she's and they have a back so they're doubles and what my mom does i do not think you'll be able to see but she sews hearts in them so that when you wash and dry them they don't slip and then she put this really cute it is Hair and bone, is that the pattern that that is? I have no idea. I just know that it has cute strawberries. 
Oh, it's so adorable. There's pink and red, and then it looks like some lemon. So it's like strawberry lemonade. Oh my gosh. You guys, so my cool. mom is amazing. The way she can do all this stuff. like She spoils us. She's amazing. But yeah, she did this cute green crochet around it. And yes, I also did some crochet this week. And I did not bring it. Well, it's actually in my car. So I'll have to show you next time. <laughs> Maybe you can get it finished for next time. Yes. Um, what is next? <laughs> okay. Um, so connections. we have this store that we really like. It's called Wood Connection. And they have super fun things. So we wanted to show you what we have done. This one I did do this week. It's a wheelbarrow and let me just bring it closer. This goes on this like that and then on that little block. It there is. was a little what's it called? center center but we, we dropped lost it, it so we'll find it <laughs> but this is paper and it's just simple they cut all this wood out for you you paint the sides oh wait no you sand it first then you paint the sides then you slap some paper on then you sand the paper like the edges of the paper and then it's done like literally it's that simple and you use either wood glue or hot pot mod podge mod Either podge one. on it and it works like so simple and they do have an online shop so if you're not local to salt lake city these are some fun things that you can do and they um they have some kits like this that i've seen at michael's oh do they I and seen joanne's that. i've seen like here and there i'll see like a pumpkin or oh, like a christmas theme like something but they're they're really cute and it's the exact same thing. So yeah, it's really simple. Sand it, put paper on it, sand the paper, and you're good. Oh, don't forget to paint. Paint before the paper because it's a mess. And then <laughs> this is our my home. I have this on like a little hutch that I have at my house. And I just switch out the home or the O every single time. My little baby will come over and be like, H! And I really like it because he can pick it up and I'm not afraid of it getting ruined. And it's just wood. I mean, if it's going to break, then that'd be sad. It. Yeah. And then these are what you've done, right? I actually, they had a, like a discount section of things that they don't want anymore. They're trying to get rid of. So I bought these ones, but I have some coming for next time that I am working on that are spring and I had some Easter. Do you have them here? I just have the cutouts. Do you want to show some of the ones that you've got over there? Yes. I can show you my, my egg. I have an egg. This is her craft room. So. Yes. It's so like some, Oh, that is adorable. I finished it. I was going to put a ribbon. Look at those cute, like, adorable little bunnies. And like, she did purple on the sides and on the back. And here's my cute heart. oh my gosh so this is just paper this looks like she just painted this middle and i haven't finished all these but here's pops out how cute is that i think this is my june so this is what it will look like when i'm finished oh this is a good example why you sand the paper so if you can see the oh, i'm gonna show the back look at that it kind of looks like a little foot that's cute. But like, this is why you sand the paper down. Because if you sand it on the sides, then it just comes right. You know, it looks like you did a really good job. Thank you. And same thing on this one. You see that paper right there? That's why you sand it off. And so it just fits perfectly. And that'll be a super cute little O for her home. And then I finished this. Oh, I love it. And I found a little hole or a love at Hobby Lobby. So I got this at the craft center or the oh my wood connection. Wood connection. It's the wood craft center. But um, I found a love that I want to put on it and I did it in white. Oh, cute. So that one. In like so vinyl cool. or? No, I will show you. I was trying to work on it this week, but it wasn't quite working so I got to figure out a different way to do it but I will show you 
Oh my gosh. So here's my love. That's adorable. Here, hold that heart up again. We'll just like put it up there. And it'll go right. Oh, <gasps> so cute. There. And I'll just oh, the wood glue. Oh my gosh. How adorable. I love it. Thank you. And all I did was sand, paint, and then I sanded it again. So no paper on this one. Mm -mm. So you can do paper. You don't have to. It's totally up to you. Yeah. But yeah. Fun. Um, okay. I think that was So it. we should probably do our giveaway. Oh, yes. Our giveaway from last time because you guys showed so much support and I couldn't believe it. I, I didn't think it would get that many views or that many subscribers, if any at all. So you guys are amazing. <laughs> so we have this giveaway and I thought it was so cute. It's like you could have a snowflake or just even put it on white with like a do all purple or yellow something mm. bright or even ombre that would be very cute but this is our giveaway just um do you have like a code word snowflake snowflake so <laughs> type in snowflake don't do giveaway or freebies is snowflake one word just do it as one word just one word <laughs> yes and we will put it in a random generator and we will announce the winner next time yes and then uh please be subscriber and like the video to enter the giveaway yes um but thank you guys so much for watching and making this like such a fun community that we joined i was thinking i have not talked to you about this but you know the i belong to a cross stitch community or Mm -hmm. Have you seen that cross stitch going around? Mm -hmm. It's super popular right now. I was thinking it would be fun if I stitched half and you stitched half and we put it in the back of our videos. <gasps> that would be so cute. But we'd have to do on 14 count later. That's fine. <laughs> I am will I know the other ones are hard. There's sometimes I'm like, because I stitch in the car. Oh my gosh. That's I what I do in the car. I crochet in the car. That's why. I could, but it's small. Some of those holes, I'm just oh. like, um, I need the sun to shine right down <laughs> and the perfect lighting, but you can't always get that. And sometimes it's dark, but we drive a lot. And so we are, it's my favorite time to stitch because then my baby's asleep and I can have so much time. I have like 40 minutes to sometimes an hour and a half of just free time in the car. So why not? Where do you guys go? Park City. Oh, <laughs> I was going to say, wow. <laughs> we, uh, Heber, all those areas. My nice. husband's an outdoorsman, so oh, we yeah. are always on the go. You guys are always camping or doing something fun, going to see family. Yes, so, yeah. <laughs> I stitch in the car, and that 32 count, 28 count is hard to see. Nice. I have to have readers. Oh, yeah. I just crochet in the car because I can do that, and it's, like, awesome because my kids are in the back. So it's, like, free time. I don't want to waste this free time. I've got to hurry and do something with my hands, and it makes me car sick to stitch, so I can crochet. So I'll show you what I've done last time, or er, this time. I'll show you next time. So anyways, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a good day. Let us know how we did, what we can do better, and what next you want to see. And if you have any questions, please yeah. let us know. We are always checking the video, so we will get back to you as soon as one of us. Oh, we have an Instagram. Oh, yes. We are the Cross Stitching Cousins on Instagram. So yes. follow us there. So. And you'll get to see all our stitch mania. mania and where we're at. And if we have any finishes or anything, we'll probably put all of our crafts on there. Yeah. Just so you guys <laughs> have a variety of like inspiration. Mm-hmm. Okay, we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.